What's up, everybody? It's me, your favorite content creator, Meesum777, uh, back here again with TDT. And today, we're going to be doing a, my most requested video of all time. We're going to be doing a content creator tier list. If you look through the comments of uh, all of my recent videos, you'll see that that's like the number one most requested thing here. Um, so despite what my lawyer recommends, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and just rate everybody here on a very objective scale. Uh, you'll you'll kind of pick up on it as we're going along here. Uh, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more uh, high quality Destiny content. And if you're if you don't see your content creator here, your favorite content creator, it's probably because they mostly do Twitch, which we all know Twitch isn't real. It is a is a conspiracy made by big YouTube uh, to. Uh... All right, so starting out with Lego. Now, Lego the Flash, you might not know about Lego. He's a smaller content creator on the rise. He's got really quality stuff, though. Uh, obviously, there's some bigger production out there, but Lego is really solid if you're looking for stuff. Um, pretty sure he has a fetish for fusion rifles, which is a little bit weird. It keeps him out of that S tier, but for right now, A tier, nice, good. Can't really be upset at that. Next up is Rick Kakis, and... Uh, We've already finished the intro, and despite the memes, if you don't like Rick Kakis, it's probably because you're, uh, probably because you don't like Canadians, and it's 2024, and that's really offensive. So, of course, we're putting him in E tier. Uh, next up is Jez, and again, if you don't like Jez, it's probably because you dislike Australians. I think he's Australian. I don't actually know. Um, I just know he's got a funny mustache, says funny words. Uh, I like funny words, so that's that's a solid B tier. That's a solid B tier for Jez. Uh, next up, another smaller content creator, Henra. Again, if you actually haven't seen Henra, uh, you probably should check him out. Similar to kind of Lego La Flash's style, some in-depth stuff in a nice condensed short amount of time. Uh, wish you would upload a little bit more, so I'll put him I'll put him right next to Jez in B tier. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm I'm gonna probably put Jez in C tier there. That seems a little bit more fair. Uh, mustache and all that. Uh, next up is G Miners, another content creator here. Um, where do we want to put G? We gotta have him on Spice Eclipse one of these days. I saw him on Twitch, so we know that Twitch isn't real. So we'll put Twitch. We'll pu we'll put him D tier. Yeah, that's that feels good. That feels good. Uh, next up is Yurda, and I don't like that. I don't know how to pronounce uh, Yurda's name, so that's F tier. Easy. Uh, next up is Grenader Jake, and we know everybody knows that Grenader Jake is primarily on uh, Twitch. So we again, we know Twitch isn't real, so thus Grenader Jake doesn't real. So we put him uh, put him right down here and uh, put him in F tier, F tier. Uh, next up is Frostbolt. Now Frostbolt uh, does PvP, which that's kind of cringe. I don't know many people that play PvP anymore. It seems kind of like uh, like Frostbolt just honestly hates everybody. Um, I've never seen a positive word come out of his mouth ever. Um, yeah, just just like one of the most toxic creators I've ever seen. So that's a solid A tier. Uh, next up here is Forcer. Now, Forcer uh, mostly doesn't play Destiny, so you know that's that's S tier. That's good. That's good right there. Um, Fallout. Fallout. Uh, well, boy, what can I say say about Fallout? Uh, he has a mustache, so let's. Yeah, let's put him. Let's put him right here next to Jez. Right there. That sounds. That sounds good. Uh, next up is a vase. We'll put. We'll put a vase. Yeah, we'll put. We'll put a vase right here in D tier. That. That's probably good. Uh, all right. Next up. Next up is uh, Evan. Now, if you haven't seen Evan F's content, uh, he's been pivoting off of Destiny stuff, trying to do a little bit of a variety. So we you know that's pretty good. That's that. That lands him. That lands him pretty consistently. And, uh, and then an A tier here. Next up is Ebontis. Uh, Ebontis also pitting outside of Destiny stuff. A uh, bit of variety in there, so that's again a solid. That's a solid. Hmm. I don't like cheetahs. We'll put them in B tier. Uh, next up, next up is uh, Walla. Say Walla, bra. And again, just probably the worst creator I've ever seen. And that's mostly because he plays primarily PvP. So that is uh, that's that's an immediate uh, that's an immediate that's an immediate F tier, yeah, that that's that's an immediate F tier. Uh, I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking that I actually think uh, G minor tier probably deserves F tier, not for anything really, just just because. And in fact, I'm thinking about Evase here, and I'm thinking Evase might need to drop down lower too. 
Yeah, we'll put a vase in E tier here for now. We'll put him right there for now. Uh, next up is DFP. Uh, again, a very toxic content creator. Uh, last I checked, nobody likes the police. So that'll put him in B tier. All right. Next up is Cheese Forever. Now, I love Cheese Forever just because of the cheese. Cheese is good. Cheese is, cheese is real good. So that's 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 a solid that's a solid S tier. Yeah. Uh, Riley Reloaded, a Walmart Jesus, if you have not seen. Riley Reloaded, another kind of smaller creator, puts a lot of effort into his stuff. Um, really goes for the memes, which we love memes here. So that's that's a solid that's a solid A tier, uh, arguably S tier. I know you're gonna get in the comments, you're gonna be all upset that I put Riley in A tier, and you know what? It's okay. I understand. Uh, but you know what? You'll learn to get over those feelings. Next up is Datto. Datto deserves D tier. Uh, cool guy. I love cool guys. I think they're like the Fonz. The Fonz was pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, so we'll, we'll put the Fonz up here at B tier. Yeah, that, that seems, that seems good. That seems good. Uh, next up here is Patty Cakes. Um, I'm actually, I have a gluten allergy, so that's a solid, that's a solid E tier. Pretty good all around though. Panda, uh, mostly from what I understand, does, uh, Twitch stuff. I uh, haven't seen too much panda stuff. Also, that's clearly not a panda. That's like Genji from Overwatch with like red shader. Very stereotypical hunter, so that's that's probably E tier. All right, and CB Gray. If you haven't seen CB Gray stuff, typically shorter-ish content. Uh, can vary pretty drastically though. CB Gray's been in the business for a minute. Uh, good stuff all around. So we'll put him. Um, we'll put CB Gray. B tier. He can he can hang out with Fonzie. Uh, next is MP Edits. Now MP Edits never uploads, um, despite having some really fantastic meme edits. So unfortunately, that lands him right next to B tier. Uh, CB Gray can keep him company. Next is Castle. About a monthly upload, but when he does upload, it's good stuff. Castle's another kind of smaller-ish content creator. Um, puts a lot of effort into the videos, so we'll put we'll put Castle here, right in B tier. Uh, next up is Moist Critical. Now, if you haven't seen any Moist Critical stuff, um, I'm actually surprised. I'm very surprised Moist Critical's uh, got some really good Destiny content, um, but not doesn't doesn't play Destiny enough, which is of course great. So we put we put Moist Critical in a in a S tier. Next up is Cami Cakes, another really toxic content creator. Um, I've never seen anything come out of Cami Cakes' mouth that was uh, appropriate for children. Um, in fact, I think some of the stuff he said would probably get him banned. I'm not honestly surprised Bungie hasn't gotten on that. Uh, but he does have a pretty fantastic beard, so we'll put him in. We'll put him in C tier. Uh, next up is Mano Destra. Uh, Mano doesn't upload too often. Uh, slightly on the smaller side compared to some of the bigger names that are going to be on here. But uh, when Mano does upload, it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. So I highly recommend checking him out. So. Uh, I can't put him next to Cammy. That would the beard would probably take up his space. So that'll we'll put him in we'll put him in A tier. We're running out of space here. We'll we'll put him in A tier for now. Uh, next up is Mactix. Uh, Mactix is a PvP creator, a uh, very toxic PvP creator. I've never seen anything good come out of Mactix's mouth. So of course that lands him in uh, F tier. Next is Lucky. Let's see. Actually, hold on. I've got an idea. Let's see how Lucky Lucky is. All right. Ooh. Ooh, that's uh, unfortunate, Lucky. That's that's really unfortunate. Uh, that's unfortunately a that's that's an immediate F tier. I'm sorry to say, Lucky. Um, all right, moving right along. Up to Astacross. Now, Astacross is sort of like the poster child of Destiny content creators. Um, if you've ever watched a Destiny video ever, you've probably watched an Astacross video. Um, so that means that he plays a lot of Destiny, uh, does some other stuff, but it's mostly Destiny, which of course lands him in, uh, in probably F tier. Yeah. Next up is Ascendant Nomad, and Ascendant Nomad also, again, doesn't upload much, but when he does upload, it's pretty darn good. I'm gonna put, uh, Nomad in A tier. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about it, I, I just remembered he's British, so we'll put him in B tier. He can snuggle up next to Castle here. Next is ZK Mushroom. Now, ZK is uh, an extremely toxic content creator. Um, I've never seen anything good come out of his mouth. Um, just absolute vile stuff. PvP creator, of course. And also does Twitch, which, of course, is an immediate F tier. 
Uh, next up is True Vanguard. Uh, True Vanguard is like an OG. He's been here forever, which is really unfortunate. Um, really wish True Vanguard would eventually just seek help. Uh, he's a really toxic content creator. Uh, mostly plays PvP, of course. Uh, actually, we're running out of space here. Um, I need I need a bigger F tier. There we go. Where did TV go? All right. Oh, there we go. TV can go right here behind. He can hide behind the monitor in F tier. An FF tier. Uh, next up is Tom Scott from the uh, Destiny channel Tom Scott. Uh, Tom Scott doesn't do that much Destiny. Um, still hoping to see an upload from him, so that can go right up there in S tier. And speaking of Tom, we have Tom Christie, which if you're that close to Tom, like it's basically just a few letters off. So that'll that'll be that'll be Tom can put we can put the two Toms up together in uh, S tier. Uh, that's that's really good stuff there. Next up is Toad Smoothie. I don't know why you would ever want a Toad Smoothie, uh, but I will say, unlike Panda, it, it actually does look like there is a smoothie that a Toad is drinking. That's actually more of a frog, so we're gonna have to knock off a few points for that. Um, probably probably has a mustache, I think, so that, that'll probably be uh, S, uh, C tier there. Uh, now, TDT, these guys are extremely toxic. I've never seen a positive word come out of their mouth. Um, but they're probably the best content creator I've ever seen, uh, despite all that. So despite the odds, they're probably going to land a nice solid A tier right there. Uh, next up is Sweatsicle. And Sweat, uh, all of his thumbnails look like he's uh, taking a poop, like just on a toilet. So that's, that's pretty solid. No facial hair, unfortunately. Um, so I would like to put him with Dado, but, you know, we can't do that. So probably... Probably down here in a, in a F tier. Yeah. Next up is uh, Scarrow. Um, I'm personally not that afraid of Scarrow. I don't know what he's trying to achieve, why he's trying to scare people. Um, but uh, that, that definitely definitely not working. Uh, so we'll, we'll put Scarrow here up in, uh, up in A tier. Now next is Sir D. Uh, Sir D has recently been uh, branching out into other content, doing other non-Destiny stuff, so there's some bonus points there. But also has a really terrific beard uh, and probably a little bit of a mustache in there. So that'll land him solidly, solidly in C tier right there. Cleanly, cleanly in uh, C tier. All right, now next is uh, Shadow Destiny 2. Now this is probably some of the best content creation on the planet. Uh, Shadow Destiny 2 is just unbelievably unmatched quality, so that puts him right up there in uh, S tier. Now next is Shadow. Now Shadow just is just a cheap knockoff of Shadow Destiny 2. It's really clear they're copying the same style as Shadow Destiny 2, which is really sad to see in today's day and age to see such clear blatant plagiarism. Um, it's just ripping off the style one to one. So unfortunately, that's going to have to land uh, Shadow in uh, FF tier. I'm sorry to say. Uh, next is Doug Doug. Now uh, Doug Doug does some great Destiny stuff. Um, I really like it when he does. Uh... Next is Plunder the Booty. If you like Destiny builds, Plunder the Booty kind of doesn't get a lot of press just shows up, makes banger videos, and then disappears for a while. Typically tries to break the game over its knee like it was made of glass. Uh, not, the, not the kind of bad glass though, so it doesn't actually end up harming uh, Plunder. Also does the smart thing of like not uploading sometimes, which is, which is great. Like anytime we see a Destiny content creator just, you know, not play Destiny, that's really what we like to see. So we're gonna, we're gonna put, we're gonna put uh, Plunder in, uh, in a E tier here. Um, because I hear bell peppers and uh, pirates get along great. And lastly is uh, Marshix. Uh, Marshix a bit uh, not doesn't get a lot of press again, but again a very solid content creator shows up, does what he needs to do, so that will land him solidly in uh, A tier. So go ahead and leave it in the comments down below uh, if you agree or disagree with these ranking systems. I personally think this is pretty bulletproof. I feel like this has been really thought over pretty darn well. Uh, but of course, you guys can let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, smash the like button. Um, punch the punch the punch the subscribe button and uh, deuces.